hi guys i'm back um <laughs> can't believe i'm doing this um it's a monday morning it's quarter past six and we're taking some of the horses for some training today so i'm gonna take you with me for my day uh i i'm gonna try i'm gonna try vlogging let's do this so i've got my cup of tea and my lovely mug that a lovely person who had a horse with me for a while gave me always appreciated and i'm gonna go pick up lily who works for me on a monday and we're gonna meet meg there at the yard at half past six so yeah let's go it's dark goodness i was dreaming about actually yeah i dreamt that i was getting i got this wrong and um that i like missed it oh god it was really stressful oh horrible dream so didn't sleep particularly well because i actually kept kind of waking up like oh my wife Oh, but what? Anyway, <laughs> I've made it on time so far. Let's go. Good morning, everybody. Hello, Bootsy. Hello, baby Zora. You okay? Not used to this yet. This old dark mornings. Hi, Ovi. So Ralphie! Looking at me for you lunatic. The dogs aren't used to the dark either. And look who it is, little Indy Bindi. Little Indy's here. She's lame at the moment. We, we thought it was an abscess, but nothing came out. So, um, not good. We think we're gonna have to have some x-rays, aren't we? No luck with these baby horses. <laughs> really rubbish. So here we have Zolo. It's a fun poo stain. Here, dogs! Who is uh, going with us today? So we're going for some training. So um, this horse <coughs> is three, and he is owned by Claire. And Claire is who we're going training with today, his owner. Uh, I've backed him for her. She is a Grand Prix rider, and... <coughs> No pressure. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go and take him and Robin for some training. So, yeah, looking forward to it. I think Meg is over there feeding. Meg is over there feeding. Anyway, I'm going to go and get some stuff together to put it in the lorry. Let's go. So I'm just um, wiping over the tack. Um, so I'll just fill you in a little bit on Robin. So Robin, this is his first outing basically um because of lockdown and he had a holiday and what else just various reasons we didn't have a saddle we didn't have anywhere to go we were aware that i wanted to give him a break at some point so he basically has spent his four year old year it's now october um having a jolly jolly old time which is fine and he's definitely been growing so we've not been in any rush his owner was not interested in him you know going and doing young horse classes or anything really like that just going and getting some experience is what her intentions are for him this year um so yeah so that's, that's starting today we're going to take him and zolo over to a friend's yard um about half an hour away uh, and we're just gonna see how it goes. I might even ride Robin today. Um, we're gonna go with the groundwork first in the rope halter that I do, uh, that we do with Claire, um, and see how he goes. He can be funny in the contact, and so I'm really aware that I'm making sure that he feels good in his body before we put pressure on of riding when we go somewhere. Um, loading is new to him. I've actually been filming a whole series about loading on him on my Patreon page um, because it was so new to him that he didn't know what he was doing. So yeah, so getting the tack ready now and then um, if we don't use the tack for Robin, we don't use the tack for Robin. But, oh, I want to change those cheek pieces actually. But hopefully we can have a little ride because it would be lovely to ride him in a different place and see how he feels he's quite kind of he's quite confident I think and so he um like takes some of the he tries to do everything himself basically so um yeah be interesting to see how he is today I've only got one battery to get through my day uh with my 
uh, camera. So I'm going to um, try and keep my verbal diarrhea to a minimum. Anyway, it's nice to be back talking to you guys. I've missed it. It's been so long since we've been out and done something. I didn't even have a white saddle pad. Amanda, um, the saddle pad company, Equitex, we, they're not mine, you know, I'm given them to use, but they are her saddle pads essentially. So um, my white one got used last year for somebody else and never came back. So um, she's just been and delivered this at seven o'clock in the morning, half past seven in the morning, bless her. What am I looking for? Boots for Robin. So um, we're getting ready. Robin, uh, Zolo is all sparkly clean. So we're gonna take some video of him today. Um, and yeah, Robin doesn't need to be sparkly clean, but um, he's also not got white legs. So he already looks pretty sparkly clean. So just getting the last few bits together and then we're gonna load up and hit the road. At least it's daylight now. We're also turning out a lot of the horses so that Lily, who is left here on her own, can get going with the mucking out while we're gone before we come back and exercise all the horses. Busy, busy. We've got 12, 12 to exercise every day now. That's 12 to muck out. Busy. More to do these days. Here he is, Mr. Handsome. Oh, you're such a grown up now with a bit of breakfast on your face. We're gonna go and be a good boy. Huh? Show everyone what we've been learning. You're such a good boy. I um, I actually gave them both a calming cookie this morning and um, I can really tell the difference in Robin. Um, we've been practicing the loading and up till now we haven't actually fully shut him in and he's so different. I think maybe it's helped him out a little bit just to feel a little bit more comfortable in this environment. We've worked up to this, so this was the logical next step, but we hadn't actually got to the point where we had shut him in. So I'm really proud of you, Robin. Such a lovely horse to train. I feel so lucky to be doing what I'm doing today. Yeah, that's it. You'll go on that side. Good boy. That's Robin. Oh, what a good, oh, not backwards. After a slight reconfiguration, because giant Zolo couldn't work out how to turn, Robin is absolutely my favorite. Don't scrape now and spoil it, good boy. Um, let's swap them over, because Zolo couldn't work it out. So um, now we have Zolo first, Robin second. I mean, Zolo's literally only loaded about a handful of times, so no surprise, but we are on our way. Oh, so Robin's just the absolute best. I just love him so much. All right. Can you tell I'm excited? We have arrived. They travelled so well. Oh, f the Handbrake's a bit soft on this lorry. We're parked on a bit of a, a bit of a hill. Um, hang on. Hang on, Meg. Don't rush. Um, but anyway, we've arrived. This is where we've arrived. This lovely big arena. Oh, I don't think Robin's ever gonna have gone into such a long straight line. Oh, so exciting. Hi, cat. Are you pleased to be here, boys? <laughs> so sweet. Little chestnut babies. Little chestnut babies. Right, should we get them off? Good boys. Do some. So we'll just go through the basic patterns in the groundwork. Meg hasn't actually got a rope halter, 
but it will be a good test for Robin's ability to groundwork basically. I think the camera's pointing the wrong way, so I'll explain something. So the key with the groundwork is because they're so familiar with the patterns and they understand that the patterns create relaxation in their body, when we then take them somewhere new, we can go to what they know and so that then they can feel that good feeling at a new venue. So yeah, I'm gonna go and keep doing a bit more of that. Robin in the mist. Zola having his fancy white bandages. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to eat them. Such a good boy. So we've been, um, we've been and moved them in the groundwork and put them out on the ropes so they can move their feet a little bit. And it's Did just, oh, oh, potentially only a pair of them have been used. Oh, sorry, Claire's yeah. not having to, re Claire's not having to re-roll bandages. Not quite what she signed up for. <laughs> but uh, really pleased with how they both are. Really proud of them. Are you proud of you for being so clever? Not bad for three, huh? Not bad for first ever outing. We did give them a calming cookie, actually. Did you? Yeah. Robin's turn. I've removed a layer because I was quite warm. Such a good Zolo. So impressed with him. First ever outing, ridden outing. Are you going to be a good boy too? Definitely seems a little bit more chilled having had a calming cookie. He can be a little bit, you know, red Robin energy, fiery. So it's interesting to see the difference. Maybe this is the way forwards for him. Should have tried it a bit sooner, huh? So initially I tried to just put some music over these clips, but then the bit I say afterwards doesn't make sense. So here we go. Uh, so Robin, he can be quite hot in some ways and he can be sensitive to my leg and he has, we've been finding the connection in the hand tricky. Now he is teething at the moment. He has some of his little baby teeth at the front coming through. Now they shouldn't be bothering where his bit goes or anything, but he is mega sensitive. So you'll see his mouth moving a little bit, like coming open and my hand is not pulling. I can promise you I'm doing my utmost to keep the hand forward. So we are working on slowing everything down from my seat to give a little bit more connection through his body because otherwise he would tend to kind of rush and then all sorts of things would go a bit awry. So yeah, making the space and the, the speed and the size of his body smaller so that we could create a better connection 
and then allow that then out. And you'll see in the last clip, we start to be able to let the connection out a little bit. But he's also, you see he's wearing a net on his nose. He's being very, very sensitive about um, flies and stuff. And so we've just put that on so that that doesn't become a habit. Uh, and it helps a lot. You could, you know, he's much less sensitive. Um, but that also could be from the teeth changing, the vet thinks. I reckon I probably look pretty patchy. Oh well. That was great. So good to work Robin in a bit more space. And very, very interesting. Oh, shit. What we were talking about with Claire about slowing, slowing everything down to create a smaller like a smaller box for him so that then I can actually start to let it out in the way that we need to let it out rather than it kind of becoming this big wild energy but I'll talk about it a little bit more we're just sorting them both out ready to go sir I think we better take that rug off before we travel um I'll put this bridle away poor Meg is young horse wrangler of the year as they wander about on top of her they're pretty good to be fair but yeah we're just going to load them up and get back to the yard and then we've got all of the others to exercise when we get back but really great to get them out and for it to be such a positive experience right not forget anything literally they are so cute What are they doing? <laughs> you guys, such handsome chapos. Oh, Robin started loading himself. <laughs> That's it, and then you can go. Just go in there with him. Good boy. I can't believe how good he is at that. Good chap. You are so brave, Robin. Three weeks ago, never been on a box. Today, has learned how to load himself. I'm coming, Meg, hang on. You did it? good because I can't now do this up. Can't now. Very happily chomping on their hay. You good boys. Robin's like, yeah, this is the best day out ever. You've had a great time, have you, Robin? So proud of you boys. So proud. Hackett Equine graduates day out. Honestly, I just feel so, so warm and fuzzy inside and proud of them. Sorry, just talking to myself as I do. Nikki. Nice to meet you, Nikki. Have a great lesson, Dawn. I feel a warm and fuzzy inside. And then I was caught vlogging. <laughs> Got used to it, it's been a while. It's been so nice to come out this morning and do what we've just done. See the see the young horses that I've backed come out and do something like that. I mean I know it's not a first show, Zola's only three, so it's very wibbly wobbly still, but just yeah, it's nice. It's good. Feels good. Feels good to be back out. Got to go home now and exercise 10 more horses. Not joking. Uh, yeah. But Meg does some exercising now, which is great. So it means that we both work them at the same time. Oh no, we're one less. Nine. Nine still to do. And actually Claire is coming over to me later to have a groundwork session with one of the young mares that I've got in um just to give me some pointers and make sure i'm going in the right direction with her because she's quite complex um but yeah all horses are making really lovely progress and uh i'm probably not going to video loads more of today because well this video will end up 12 hours long because my day will probably be that long yes hey good boy Good boy. Oh, please to be home. 
pleased to be home. You seem to have managed to have broken your head collar that you've owned for a while while I've been here. That's fantastic, that. It's not great, is it? Rubbish. Rubbish. <laughs> Rubbish quality. It's all right. You're okay. You don't need to be anxious. Let's wait for Zolo, shall we? Be polite about it. Goodness me. Survived. Everyone survived. Time for a little wash, I think. Oh. It's just some water on the floor, apparently very traumatising. Hi Zora, be you soon hopefully. Hopefully she can go out and get, do some fun things again soon. First meal of the day, 12 o'clock. Very nutritious, having uh, oat milk porridge with some Nutella in it. We've got a little fridge at the yard now which is great because it means we can make, have like milk here all the time. Um, you have to like take it backwards and forwards in your car kind of thing which is a bit of a pain so um zolo and robin are just drying off zolo's going to go out in the field robin's actually be going out at night so he's going to be going out later on and now this guy's turn <laughs> hello obi and um, we're going to go and do some hacking um he is on on the road to recovery but spending a long time going in straight lines getting him really fit and strong rather than uh, going back in the arena too quickly uh, because I think the reason that he maybe broke a second time this year is because we went back in the arena too quick. So yeah, gonna hack him and Zora and then Tilly and Boots. And then from there, oh, excuse me, sir. And then we've got the young horses to be working. So we've got uh, four, five, five of them, five young horses to groundwork and Claire's coming over for one of them. So busy, still busy. But uh, good to sit down and have a little moment to myself to eat some porridge. I really enjoyed today. It's been really nice to take you guys with me and, you know, be doing something again. I think that's the reason why I've also been hesitant to be vlogging because we've not been doing anything. We've literally been groundworking the horses at home, which I put onto my Patreon page and that's what's on there. Well, more than that, but that's a predominant amount of what I put, put on there. And then, um, and then, yeah, hacking, <laughs> a lot of hacking. And so I haven't really felt like I wanted to kind of publicize that because it hasn't really been relevant to publicize. So yeah, anyway, we are getting back doing stuff and it's nice to take you guys with me. So I think I'm gonna leave this video here because otherwise I'm not gonna be able to concentrate. So I hope you have enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys for next time. Thank you for watching, bye for now.